Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue with the reference materials. We're a good chunk of the way through the uh, bomber section now. We are, uh, let's see, today we will start off with the EA-6B Prowler. Title, Grumman Prowler, U.S. Navy designation EA-6B, type 4-seat carrier-borne ECM aircraft. Program, development contract issued autumn of 1966, externally dis similar to basic A6 except longer nose enclosing 4-seat cockpit and large pot on fin. First flight 25th of May 1968, delivery of first 12 production aircraft started January 1971. Last of 170, tail number 164403, delivered 29th of July 1991. Design features, generally as 4 A6E, 4 crew, and fin tip antenna. Structure, wings as 4 A6E, but reinforced to allow greater gross weight, fatigue life, and 5.5 G load factor. Fuselage is for A6E, but lengthened by 1.37 meters or 4 feet 6 inches. Landing gear, as for A6E, except for reinforcement of attachments, A-frame arrestor hook, and upgrading a structure to cater for increased gross weight. Power plant, two Pratt & Whitney J52P408 turbojets, jets, each rated at 49.8 kilonewtons or 12,000 pounds force. Ed Advanced capability retrofit includes 53.38 kN or 12,000 pound force J52P 400s. Accommodation crew of four under two separate upward opening canopies. Martin Baker, Gruya 7 ejection seats for crew. The two additional crewmen are ECM officers to operate the ALQ 99 equipment from the rear cockpit. Either ECMO can independently detect, assign, adjust, and monitor the jammers. The ECMO in the starboard front seat is responsible for communications, navigation, and defense of ECM and chaff dispensing. Avionics, ANALQ-99F tactical jamming system in five integrally powered pods with a total of 10 jamming transmitters. Each pod covers one of seven frequency bands. Sensitive surveillance receivers in the fin tip pod for long range detection of radars. Emitter information is fed to a central digital computer, the ANAYK-14 and ICAP-2 aircraft, that processes the signals for display and recording. Detection, identification, direction finding, and jammer set on sequence can be performed automatically or with manual assistance from crew. PRP associates ANTSQ-142 tactical mission support system, Feldine Systems ANASM-123 navigation system with digital display group. Armament. Originally unarmed, but currently capable of carrying Texas Instruments AGM-88A Harm anti-radar missiles underwing. Four underwing hardpoints on ICAP-2 aircraft, six on ADCAP EA-6B. Dimensions external as for A6E, except width, wings folded 7.87 meters or 25 feet 10 inches. Length overall 16.24 meters or 59 feet 10 inches. Height overall 4.95 meters or 16 feet 3 inches. Weights and loadings. Weight empty, 14,231 kilograms or 31,572 pounds. Internal fuel load, 6,995 6 kilograms or 15,422 pounds. Max external fuel load, 4,547 kilograms or 10,025 pounds. Max wing loading, 600.5 kilograms per meter squared or 123 pounds per square foot. Max power loading, 296 kilograms per kilonewton or 2.9 pounds per pound force. Performance A clean B with 5 ECM pods never exceeds speed 710 knots uh, in both configurations or 1315 kilometers per hour or 817 miles per hour. Max level speed at sea level for A configuration 566 knots or 1048 kilometers per hour or 651 miles per hour. In D configuration, 530 knots or 902, sorry, 982 kilometers per hour or 610 miles per hour. Cruising speed at optimum altitude for both configurations, 418 knots or 774 kilometers per hour or 481 miles per hour. Stalling speed, flaps up, max power, A configuration, 124 knots or 230 kilometers per hour or 143 miles per hour. Flaps down, max power for A configuration. 84 knots or 156 kilometers per hour or 97 miles per hour. 
max rate of climb at sea level, a configuration 3,932 meters per minute or 12,000 feet per minute, D configuration 3,057 meters per minute or 10,030 feet per minute, service ceiling, A configuration 12,550 meters or 41,200 feet, D configuration 11,580 meters or 38,000 feet, service ceiling, OEI, A configuration 8,930 meters or 29,300 feet. Length 18.24 meters, height 4.95 meters, max takeoff weight 29.48, 29,483 kilograms, max wing loading 600.5 kilograms per meter squared, max level speed 566 knots, service ceiling 12,550 meters, takeoff run 814 meters, landing run 655 meters, max rate of climb 3,912 meters per minute. So here we can see a picture of the engine that is mounted in the EA6B. And of course we have our photo album, so we got an EA6 in flight here. This is the uh, hail pod that they're talking about, and you can see the extra seating for the two ECM operators in the back. And then this is the ANALQ99 jamming pod. And I believe you'll notice there's like a little propeller on it. I believe that is to... It basically acts as a little wind turbine using the aircraft's speed to burn it to generate power for, I think, at least some of the cooling and possibly also just generally for every all the electronics in the pod. Here's another picture. It looks like landing configuration with flaps extended. Got another in-flight picture. Another in-flight picture over a bridge. And this is a unique one. It shows some of the, uh, it looks like it's showing some of the cockpit controls and MFDs. Uh, I don't know if these would be for the ECM operators or the pilot navigator, or navigator though. Uh, in our 3D view, we can see they have the additional rear seating and the fin both modeled in game. So that is an easy way to tell it apart from the A6. Also, one other way that you, doesn't really show up in game, but the cockpits tend to be a little bit, um, they're coated with a special coating because of all the electromagnetic stuff that they're doing. Um, it's supposed to help absorb, like, the radio waves, I think, um, to protect the crew. Uh, so you'll notice they have, like, a, a tint to them. And you'll see it on the Growler, too. It's kind of like a golden tint uh, to the canopy, at least in the ones I've seen. And I think that will do it for this episode. So with that, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time, and stay safe out there, and we'll see you then.